The winter is when there's a lot less riding to do, which means I tend to get rusty. Well, today is a beautiful day in the middle of winter and a great opportunity to shake off some of that rust and keep my skills in tip-top shape. And this is where I first decided to try out some Michelin Enduro tires. I've been using Maxxis tires for the most part, but I've been hearing good things about Michelin, and so I got their Wild Enduro tires in the Gum X compound here. As you can see, they're nice and dirty from already being ridden, and so far, they do seem great. But today is my second ride on them, and I'm really excited to see how they do out here on Burke Mountain. This place has really awesome trails. I met up with a friend and patron, Berm Unit, and we're gonna do a shuttle lap today. By leaving one vehicle way down below, we're going to be able to ride a really long lap, including a trail that we'll finish on called Bullet Dodger. And it turns out, on a winter sunny Saturday, everybody wants to get out to the mountain. But we lucked out on a nice parking spot, and we went up the mountain. Conditions look really good today, don't you think? Yeah. Pretty happy about it. We're warming up on a black diamond trail called Red R. And man, these trails are so sick. You'll see what I mean. Let's try this out, Red R. I rode this trail briefly last spring on the, when I was on my heart tail. Except it turns out it was the wrong way, so now we're actually riding it. And I love this stuff here at Burke. Oh, what am I doing? That was fun though. It's good, it gets everything going. Yeah, it does. I'm gonna make it a drop. <laughs> so, that was really fun. And now we're gonna hike back up and try Deliverance. The gnarliest trail in this mountain, apparently. This should be Deliverance, or? It says closed. It does? Yeah, right here, the blue sign. What's going on? Trail closed, below jump line. Use elevator, tell New Year, please respect that. Yeah. So if Deliverance is closed, we're gonna ride another really fun double black called Upper Elevator. I first rode this last year on my hardtail and it was pretty fun. If I did it fine on the hardtail, it should be a breeze on this bike. But again, I'm just trying to wear off that winter rust and prove to myself, hey, I still got it. Upper Elevator here, cause uh, Deliverance is not really open. Oh yeah, Let's see here. <laughs> That's sick. Oh. Alright, so good? Yeah. Continue up our elevator. Super fun trail. <laughs> kind of funny that I rode this for the first time on my hardtail. I don't think I was riding this fast through it though.
Ты <laughs> now these trails honestly have such a good balance of tekinar and flow. Longer travel and duro bikes like my patrol are the perfect fit out here. I still feel like I can monster truck through the techie stuff. Sick. Oh boy. Sweet. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. That was a fun one. I'm really feeling it in my upper body here. Up next is Bullet Dodger. But before we go into that, we actually wanted to hike up this shorter trail. It's got a few little jump features on it, so I want to check it out and see how it rides. Nice case pad. <laughs> That's cool. So it's called Bullet Tooth Tony. Bullet Tooth Tony. My uh, Hero 9 lens all clear. Let's do it into, into Bullet Dodger. This should be fun. Woo! All right. Bullet dodger, here we go. Dodge some bullets. This is a really long trail, but it's so much fun. And this is the whole reason why we did our shuttle run. My Michelin Wild Enduro tires are feeling really good. I'm definitely a fan, I gotta say. And as you've seen in last week's video, I was trying those DH34s on the Wilson. I like those a lot too. And that makes me happy, you know? It's always great to find new bike companies that make great products. Though Michelin's not new or anything, I mean, they used to make tires in the past a lot but it seems that they kind of got out of it and then now they're getting back into it, I which I think is pretty cool. I think I just did the easy route. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> Yo, nice. Yeah, that stuff is sick. Let's, uh, let's try not to get shot now in the, uh, the bullets. <laughs> this is the part of the trail where you could actually hear bullets flying because it's sort of near a gun range. And that's the whole reason why this trail is called Bullet Dodger. Yeah, I remember doing this on my hardtail, so it should be even easier. I think last time I probably went straight down there. Yeah, I don't know if that was it. I'll probably try that left line. All right, let's. Are they gnarly? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was not too bad actually. It looks the worst from the top. Yo! <laughs> <laughs> jump here. Oh, 
Right on. was a little goofy. I was just really trying not to get sprayed by the by the mud. <laughs> Conditions are so good. Just the occasional puddle. Whew, and this trail's sick. We're gonna finish this trail. Let's not crash like last time. Oh my goodness. Okay. Almost like fell off. Okay. Here's where it gets spicy. What's that? Here's okay. where it gets spicy. Uh, just after the next one. I put my goggles on. Okay, let's uh, go in with a bit more control, how about? Like this. There we go. Whoa. Ooh. All right, this gets a little spicy. Is this the harder line? Whoa! Wow! That was sick! Wow! That was pretty cool! Yo! Oh man! That was awesome! <laughs> Alright, we're just about the bottom now. That was pretty nuts. I sent it down like the difficult lines. It was so sweet. I'm really feeling great on my patrol and on these trails. It feels really great to just get back into it, you know? Winter doesn't give me as many good opportunities to ride, especially in conditions like this. It does stay pretty wet out here in the winter time. But you're gonna wanna stay tuned for next week's video also right. where my friends and I go on an awesome trip to Vancouver Island. There's amazing downhill riding out there and it's sure to push our limits. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Please give a like and subscribe for more awesome videos coming up. I gotta give a big thanks to all my patrons. They are just amazing sponsors of my channel. If you wanna take my channel farther and if you want some bonuses like extended cuts, early videos, all that sort of stuff, go check out my Patreon page. Pledging $3 a month or more gets you extended early videos, even some bonus content and have a number of different tiers. You can start with just $1 if you want. Regardless, I appreciate all my viewers watching this video. I can't wait to show you more content I have in store. See you guys next time.